Okay, we're on to integration. And before we start looking at integration techniques, like integration by substitution, integration by parts, and what I term the log trick, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the chain rule, but working backwards, okay? In order to give us an added advantage and something that the core three exam expects you to be able to do, um, so when I'm talking about reversing the chain rule, I'm talking about looking at integrals of this form. So let's say we start with something nice and basic, like x plus 1 to the 5 dx. Okay? Now, you could potentially multiply out five separate brackets and then integrate each term. But because there are so many brackets and so many terms, there is a great possibility that you're going to go wrong somewhere. Okay. Obviously, with this example, you could use binomial expansion, etc. But um, that isn't the point. The point is that we can use uh, chain rule backwards in order to integrate this function. So, um, what I usually think of in this case is that if I'd been differentiating, to, in order to get to x plus 1 to the 5, I must have had x plus 1 to the 6, okay? Because I know that if I differentiate this, the 6 can come down to the front, I take 1 off the power, okay? So, um, if the 6 comes down to the front when I differentiate, I take 1 off the power, and I multiply it by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So now the derivative of what's inside is 1, so I multiply it by 1, so I would have got 6x plus 1 to the 5. Now if you compare these two, you'll notice that this one doesn't have the 6. So I've got 1 sixth of this. So my answer must be 1 sixth of x plus 1 all to the 6. Now you can see by differentiating that when you differentiate this, the 6 comes down to the front and the 6 and the 1 6 cancel each other out. They multiply together to make 1. Okay, So you can get from here back to x plus 1 to the 5. Uh, let's look at another example. Let's look at um, 2x plus 3 to the power of 4. Okay? Now, in this case, you want to think about saying to yourself, um, well, it must have been something like 2x plus 3 to the 5, okay? Adding 1 to the power. So you consider this and differentiate it using the chain rule. So the 5 would come down to the front, I would take 1 off the power, and remember the derivative of what's inside comes outside, so that would be 2. So this would be 10 lots of 2x plus 3 to the 4. And now we compare these two. Well notice that this is 1 tenth of what I want. Okay, so this must be one tenth of two x plus three all to the five. Okay, I'm forgetting the uh, plus c's at the moment, the constants of integration. I'm just focusing on uh, this um, straight integral. Okay, so they're two fairly basic examples. Let's look at another example. Um, Here's another example. Uh, let's add to the 6. Okay? So here's another example using chain rule backwards. Um, so I would consider what I have, and I would think, right, that x squared plus 2, um, I would have to have had x squared plus 2 to the 7. Okay? So I add 1 to the power. Now, if I differentiate that, the 7 comes down to the front, I take 1 off the power, 
and the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So the derivative this time is 2x. So I'll end up with 14x, x squared plus 2 to the 6. Now it's not quite what I've got here, because I've got this extra 14 in front, so this would have to be 1 14th this time round. OK? There's another example. Let's look at another. Um, let's try 3x squared. Uh, no, I won't try 3. I will try 6x squared. Uh, x cubed plus 5 dx, okay? And I would say to myself, right, okay, um, oh, no, let's put a 3 up there, okay? So, um, I would say to myself, right, okay, now the derivative of what's inside is almost what I've got outside, so I would be getting uh, x cubed plus 5 all to the power 4, Differentiate that, the 4 comes down to the front. We take 1 off the power. And the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So the derivative of what's inside is 3x squared. So this would make 12x squared x cubed plus 5 cubed. Now, I've got 6x squared on the outside here. I've got 12x squared here, so I've got half as much as what I want. So I would have to have one half, or six twelfths, one half. Right, let's look at one more example, okay? Um, one more example of this would be something like, let's make something that looks rel relatively nasty. Um, Well, I've got to be very careful here. Um, 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 um. Uh. No, I'm going to work myself backwards. Apologies. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the right thing here. Yep, no. Make that a four. Um Okay. Sorry about that. Trying to come up with a more complicated looking example. Okay. Um, the good, the question is really, how do you spot them? Um, and how do you spot that you can do chain rule backwards quite easily? Well, the way to do it is to really look at what is the complicated bit, this th what is inside the bracket or raised to the power, and then differentiate it. And you say to yourself, well, okay, well, that would be 9x squared plus 6 of what's inside there. And then you might say to yourself, well, okay, well, that is just five lots of that, okay? So it's very close to what I had originally, or what I have here. So we say to ourselves, right, okay, well in that case, then it's going to be something times this three x cubed plus six x minus nine, all to the power of five. Now I differentiate this, the five comes down the front, I take one off the power, And the derivative of what's inside comes outside, uh, plus 6.
Okay? So, in actual fact, when I multiply this by this, I get 45x squared plus 30. So, in this case, this is exactly the integral of this. So, there's nothing extra to worry about outside. Okay, so there are some few examples of how you could use backwards chain rule. All of these you could have used um, integration by substitution with using what is inside the bracket uh, to the power as your u. Okay, all of these will work that way, but this gives you an option to do it quickly.